So now I've uh, connected my well, the Xbox to the power supply and the HDMI call a cable. And luckily for me, my Blu-ray player has one more slot for HDMI. So <laughs> sorry about all the cables, but I'm gonna get the Xbox One and put it in my empty slot, and then hopefully this will be enough. Well, according to me, the power supply cable is a bit short, but then again, they always are, right? And I haven't really had time to fix everything after moving, so let's plug it in. Now to the truly, truly exciting part. Let's see. So there's my Xbox, my sound slash 3D system, Xbox One. I put the Xbox One on the HDMI uh, in one. That's kind of logical, right? So let's choose that one and see what happens. I have yet to turn it on. Do -do -do -do. Yay! We've got something blinking at least. Instead of the greenish color, it's actually just black and white. Basically, what I need to do is to select my language. And it's, well, it has to be English. I'm not that good at Deutsch. I do speak a little Spanish, but not enough. So let's see, English. Where do I live? Uh, New Zealand, United Kingdom, or United States. I guess I'll live in the United States for now. Let's see. Uh, which one's yours? Use wire connection, add wireless network, direct, blah, blah, into my TV, I guess. Then I'll add the ICU, which is my home network. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you that one. I can energy save in later on. I've heard that it's pretty slow already, so let's try instant on. Sign in with your Microsoft account. If you already have a gamer tag, use the email and password associated with your account. If you need a new gamer tag, blah blah blah, I do not use my old one. I think I'll get pink. Next. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh. Oh. This looks familiar, sort of like before. hard to see but I have all storage 346.8 gigabytes free and now installing Destiny.